President-elect Tsai Ing-wen presided over the DPP Central Standing Committee meeting today, the first following the election. Tsai says she already spoke to President Ma ying in a phone call on election night, turning down his proposal to allow the party with a legislative majority to form a new cabinet. Tsai continues to reject Ma's offer due to constitutional concerns. President-elect Tsai Ing-wen and Vice President-elect Chen Jianren appeared together at the DPP Central Standing Committee meeting. When asked to comment on a phone call from President Ma ying following the election, Tsai provided more details about the call. Of course, he congratulated me on my election victory. He also proposed that the majority party in the legislature form a cabinet. I talked to him sincerely. As this is a controversial constitutional matter, there's little chance for it to be implemented. Some Chinese academics have threatened that if Tsai denies the existence of the 1992 consensus, China will cease cross-strait exchanges. So far, cross-strait interactions seem fine to me. My administration will handle the issues carefully. She advocates a return to the original spirit of setting aside differences to seek common grounds that form the basis of the 1992 cross-strait meetings. Going forward, we will do our utmost to find a mutually acceptable, acceptable mode of interaction between Taiwan and the mainland. Tsai Ing-wen sent Party Secretary General Joseph Wu to give a speech at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a think tank in the United States. The speech is believed to be an attempt to explain to Washington that the incoming Tsai administration will maintain the status quo.